everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Miles' Vinyl Reviews. I am Miles, your host, and I'm in my room. So over here is my laboratory, my record player with all of my various records. The record we will be going over today, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by The Beatles. This is a very good album for anybody who loves The Beatles, which obviously you should have if you're a Beatles fan, and for anyone who just likes a good concept album. So I'm going to go over the features of the album, the track listing, and a little bit of background information on the album, just to give you a good heads up if you want to get it. So, the, in the cover, of course, is the famous thing. Now, I bet you're wondering, well, how did they get all those things? These are all cardboard cutouts, except for these four guys right here. Uh, I know they have Hard Day's Night wax thing, wax statues of the Beatles. But, um, so yeah, and then we move on to the inside of the album. There is this big poster kind of thingy, and it's very famous. You can just look up Sgt. Pepper's. And then this comes with some liner notes and a little bit of activities. So, like, you can make a nose thing that's like a nose ring. You can cut out some things or some stripes. You can cut out... A badge, another badge, and you can cut this thing out, and then you have a picture of Sgt. Pepper himself. Sorry if you can't see that. Then the instructions are, like, right here. The liner notes are actually very interesting. This is what gives you some background information on everything and how, I've, how it was recorded. So stuff like that. And then on the back is my one of my favorite parts. It tells you who everybody is on the album. It's very awesome. Like, they're numbered. They're about 87 people on this, including the actual Beatles themselves. So, yeah. So next is the track listing, or every single song on the album. I'm not going to go over the lyrics, even though the lyrics are there. And then I also might go over the reasons why this isn't a Paul is Dead thing, for all you conspiratists out there. Okay? So. So the track listing for this album is as follows. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Duh. With a little help from my friends, which is a song sung by Ringo Starr, the drummer. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, which is a very good song in my opinion. Getting, It's getting better all the time, or it's really just getting better, which I'm not sure what to call that. Fixing a Hole, another song I have no name for. She's Leaving Home is the next one, and it's also a very good slow song if you're kind of into that stuff. Next up is one of my personal favorites, being for the benefit of Mr. Kite, which was inspired by a poster that John Lennon saw. I'll put a link to the picture in the, in the description down below. And that was side one. Side two, Within within You, Without You, which uh, is George Harrison at his best. When I'm 64, which you've probably heard before, if little person watching this. Lovely Rita, which is a really good song that Paul sings. Good Morning, Good Morning, which I think all of them sing, I'm not sure. Uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band Reprise, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And then A Day in the Life, probably the greatest song on the album. John Lennon, with all of this just mixing up, like, it's not scary, but it has that kind of feeling to it. And then Paul takes over, and then John goes back into it. And it's just a very good album. Now, there are a couple more things I want to talk about. So, one of them is very interesting, actually. If you have a vinyl edition of this album, which, like, I do, because I'm doing a review on vinyl, um, on the album, if you guys know this already, there is something called a groove, or an inner groove, where, basically, where the needle of the record player rests when it's done playing that side of the album. Now, on side two of Sgt. Pepper's, there is a sound on the inner group, and it's very weird. I can't tell you what it is, because it's kind of inappropriate, but it's like a, it, that's, it's a reversed message. So I'll play that for you right now. Um. I know, it's, it's freaky, right? Um... So, it's basically just them having fun in the studio, and I know it kind of sounds a little weird, but um, it, it, there's nothing, like, there's no conspiracy theory behind it, again, for all you conspiratists, but um, 
so yeah, it's just like a fun little joke that they played on every single person who bought the album. Okay, so now I'm going to read a little bit about Sgt. Pepper's from the Wikipedia page, so you can go look it up and read along with me. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is the eighth studio album by the English rock band The Beatles. Yay! <laughs> Released on the 1st of June, 1967, it was an immediate commercial and critical success, spending 27 weeks at the top of the album charts in the UK and 15 weeks at number one in the United States. Time Magazine, declare, Time Magazine declared it as a historic departure in the progress of music, and that new statesman, oh, and that new statesman praised that its elevation of pop to the level of fine art. It won four Grammy Awards in 1968, including Album of, Album of the Year and the first rock LP to receive this honor. That's really deep. But it's also really great. Yay! Uh, sorry, when I had to stop for a second, there was a pop-up ad. So, um, anyways, so yeah, that's that's basically the video. Um, so like I, like I promised you, people were saying that like Paul was dead in this because there was like a tree hanging over his head and I don't see a tree hanging over his head or like so blah 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 there's nothing really Paul is dead about this and everyone's like oh we did well Paul is dead like Paul died after or before they started recording the Sgt. Pepper's that's not true okay Paul McCartney is alive he might have changed but he's still alive okay so stop your complaining so uh yeah Thank you guys very much for checking out my very first episode of Miles' Vinyl Reviews. Please remember to leave a like and or comment or share this with your friends. Um, please subscribe. This is an album that you can get at a place like Amoeba or Barnes & Noble because I know they started just selling records. Um, you can get this really anywhere if you go on Amazon or on iTunes. That would only go on your phone, though, as you already know. But uh, this is a great album, in my opinion. I think you all should check this out. Thank you very much. I am Miles, your host, and I'm signing out. Peace.